has PewDiePie made you want to be a white supremacist from watching his videos? I want to know those answers in the comment section down below. Boy, boy, boy. I had a video set for today. I did a reaction to T-Series most popular song while eating Indian foods, right? But I got to put this video out instead because your girl Maria is back guys now she happened she posted this notification on april 9th my birthday as you guys know she made a petition on change.org to try to remove pewdiepie from youtube because he's a white supremacist and he's spreading white supremacy so one of my subscribers named by justin right he left this comment a few days ago like how do you guys feel about people holding someone's past against them basically what he's saying here it, it's not right a lot of people said certain things in the past a lot of people have done certain things in the past that they are now ashamed of and they've apologized for multiple times and a lot of these people actually mean it the thing about it today is how easy it is on the internet to spread a misconception about someone when you blatantly don't look at the details the lines in between but i think this was like six five years ago when he did say the word and he's apologized for it and i don't think he said it since that time and he's shown that he's more of a good person than anything but anyway i'm rambling on a little bit too much let's get into maria uh ruiz's uh, little thing she has going on here for the people who are giving her death threats and trying to hack her that's not the way to go there's going to be people on either side of the fence doing things like this i do not condone that at all if you're trying to hack the lady or give her or giving her death threats that's wrong don't do that she's she updated the petition we're gonna go and check that out she's disappointed and yet not surprised at pewdiepie's attempt to duck responsibility for his actions he did not duck any responsibility for his actions okay he he posted a video on his channel explaining what was going on at the time and it seemed like you didn't watch the video there's a lot of people that i was against on the opposite side of but once i saw that hey this person isn't that bad of a person after you actually look into them and stop listening to the news alone you, see, you realize how you're manipulated into thinking one way it's the people with the biggest voice like the wall street journal the guardian they have a large audience so of course once they post something everyone's gonna think that thing is true that's the thing no one's actually looking at the context. Like he said, if you don't know who PewDiePie is or whoever is in this situation and something like this comes out, a story or a petition, people are going to think, oh, look, 80,000 supporters. This guy has to be an asshole or white supremacist or a racist. That's how people think. No one cares to look into detail about anything. How many times have you signed something with fine print above it? How many times have you read that fine print? Probably never. And if you did read it, you probably only read the first sentence or you tried to look for a number and that's probably it. However, when there's a story about someone, although I want to believe it, like when there was false stories about Trump, I'm not a fan of Trump, but when there was a false story about him, I looked into it. I didn't just read a post from CNN or MSNBC. I made sure I'd re I gathered research from multiple places and some of the times those things turn out to be false because they just give you clickbait thumbnails so you can believe that Trump is this kind of person. Click the article and you'll realize that it's not what the title says. It's just clickbait. So I tried to get in contact with Maria via Twitter, but she never responded to my message. I wonder why you didn't want to reply to a goddamn nagger. For legal reasons, that's a joke. This is what you said. You found a few messages informing you that PewDiePie made a, a video dismissing the credibility of the claims that you cited on your with no sources. So you're saying people told you that PewDiePie made a video disputing what you said. You didn't watch the video. But before we even get into that, right, Miss Maria, I wanna know what happened to this. I saw a tweet by you, cause I followed you, cause you know, you gotta support the cause, you know, gotta get these white supremacists off the internet. So you had a donation thing going on here on a GoFundMe. I went and read about it, right? Right, right, right. Uh, if you guys if you guys aren't aware, this guy called Brock Turner, he did some bad stuff. He he raped a lady uh, and he got away with it. I do not agree with that at all. He should have gotten some time, bro. If you rape someone, your ass needs to go to jail. So it seems as if uh, she's no longer accepting donations. So basically what happened was she had a conflict with the person she was working with for this GoFundMe. It seemed like the person that you chose wasn't such a great person after all. According to you, I don't know the other side of the story now. Now, I say this point to say this. It seems like you have poor judgment. Don't you think so? I mean, the person that you... Went along with, with this huge thing, it's a big issue, was trying to take money. Doesn't seem like your judgment is too great. And in terms of PewDiePie, I can see why you would think that he's a white supremacist and is trying to spread it. Because you probably didn't do research about the person that you're dealing with, did you? So if you're making a decision like that and having problems with someone with this situation, why should I then believe you when you say something so negative about PewDiePie when it seems like you haven't done any research about it? 
I'm rambling on too much, but let's get into your actual, um, whatever these things are here. She says that he said it twice. PewDiePie disputed that he didn't say it twice. Uh, she linked this video here saying that this is where he said it the second time, right? Let's take a listen to it and see if you can hear where he said the N word. PewDiePie was commentating in Swedish. As a Swedish person, I thought I might as well look through the video even though I don't find him funny. Yup! 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 Stepan up! Oh! Oh! My nigga cute! Ah! Feet up! Yeah! My cute feet nigga ball is snop cute! This is your credible source. A YouTube channel with 31 subscribers from 2013 called Joe Barrel. Nice name, by the way. Saying that PewDiePie is racist. You're saying that he said the n-word in Swedish. So what I did was I went to Google and I googled the n-word for Swedish and guess what? There is no n-word in Swedish. The nigger does not translate in Swedish. Did you check that out? Did you Google it to see if that was accurate? You scoured the internet on YouTube and found this one video that has 40,000 views saying that PewDiePie said the n-word in Swedish. That's one of your sources. Does that make sense to anyone at all? Now here's the thing. I don't follow PewDiePie blindly. If he does something that's messed up, I won't support it. I'll call it out. Here's what I'm trying to point out here. Context matters. I'm a big proponent of context, okay? Doesn't matter who the person is, what the situation is, I need to know the context. Now, I don't wanna make this video too long, so I'm gonna just get to a few more points uh, that I came across on this thing. Now, here's the thing. Like I said earlier, Context is very important, okay? Especially when it's a joke. If something is a joke, it may offend people. It may be a poor taste in jokes, right? At the end of the day, it's still a joke. And you know, with these media outlets who cover PewDiePie and whoever else, they're made, the story that breaks out always gets the most views. And the thing is, they never give a, a, a follow-up story to either show an apology or anything like that. They just leave the original story up so people can run with that. An issue I have with, with, with one of your, your links, right, or one of your things that I didn't point out in the last time, you said he made a clip of a man dressed as Jesus holding up a sign saying uh, Hitler did absolutely nothing wrong. You saying he made that clip. PewDiePie did not make that clip. The guy himself made that clip. So of course someone's someone who reads that is going to think PewDiePie made a clip of Jesus holding up a sign like that. He didn't do that. My humor is dark as hell. If you guys hear half the things I say with my friends and what we laugh about, you guys will probably be making a petition for myself too. <laughs> context matters and here's the last part I'm gonna talk about the face swapping videos with Leslie Jones you type something you, you type something in and the AI makes something up you have no control over what the AI is doing what about all of the other images of Leslie Jones in that video her face was plastered on a white person what about all of those other clips of Leslie Jones huh if someone is running a mile race and they stub their toe once. All people are gonna focus on is that one stub toe. They're not even gonna look at the fact that this person is running this mile race to help a charitable cause. They only look at that one mistake that this person made and hold them to it. Like, yeah, you're almost at the end of the race, but you stubbed your toe down there. So what about that? You apologize for stubbing your toe. Like, yeah, I should have been looking out. I don't know what I was thinking. I'm sorry for it. Like, no, it doesn't matter. You stubbed your toe a half a mile ago, and that's what we're gonna hold you to now for the rest of your life. Because you are the one that's inspiring everyone in this world to stub their toe a half a mile ago. You guys get my analogy? I know it doesn't make any sense, but Maria, you're just being disingenuous. You made a post about the man attacking him. He responded to your post in a respectful manner and you didn't watch it. He took the, t he didn't have to respond to your petition. I don't know, man. I, don't, I need you guys in the comment section to get, get, get in there with me so we can discuss this because I don't think this is the way to go. I may be completely wrong, right? But I'm open for a discussion. It doesn't seem like Maria's open for a discussion. You just want to point a message and not have anyone counter that message. The N word that he said, it wasn't right. Was I offended by it? No, but I can see why people, was, why, why people were offended. I like the darkest jokes. I don't care if it has to do with slavery. I don't care if it has to do with whatever controversy that happened. I love those jokes because it makes people uncomfortable. And when people are uncomfortable by jokes, it makes me laugh. We have crazy people like me in this world, and you're trying to shut us down. Comedy is comedy. It can be light comedy, it can be dark comedy, but it's comedy. At the end of the day, we do not mean the things that we say when we say dark things. 
But anyway, these lawnmowers are pissing me off, so I'm about to sign out. Peace.